Hello once again everyone, hello. Welcome grade 7 boys and girls. We're back to our virtu virtual learning presentation of David Copperfield, authored by Charles Dickens. And we are in chapter 9. David gets married. Okay, and we have here the settings. In Putney, where Dora lived with her aunts, and in London. This is the old Putney in London. Okay, we have no uh, no major character introduced in this chapter. We have all the major characters discussed in the past, as well as uh, uh, some minor characters in this uh, chapter. All right, so let's go to the summary and try to recall what happened in chapter 9. Okay, David was allowed by Dora's aunts to visit her every Saturday and Sunday. So he stayed till the afternoon uh, for tea. And Mr. Spenlow died and left Dora with a small amount of money because of debts. So no one would think uh, that David married her for money. Okay, Mr. Spenlow's business was losing, which made David decide to change his profession. Remember, he's in Mr. Spenlow's uh, law courts uh, to, to train him as a lawyer. But now that he has left uh, Mr. Spenlow's law courts office, he decided to change his profession and left his job. Uh, but but he continued as secretary to Dr. Strong because he had always been good at writing. He wrote some stories and began reporting what was said in the parliament in daily newspapers. And at the age of 21, he was able to save some money he moved to his house and finally got Dora's aunt's approval to his marriage with Dora. Okay, Aunt Betsy and Mr. Dick moved to a smaller house near his, and Peggotty traveled from Yarmouth to attend his wedding. Agnes was there too to finally meet Dora. He realized after their holidays outside uh, London, he realized that he married an innocent childlike girl as they went along with their first months together. Uh, their household was not uh, close to perfect. Uh, he, their two household help helpers left, uh, the, left them, the two of them, because of not working well and uh, what happened to Dora was that she tried her best to to be a good household manager but let's face it she's too young and uh, David David uh, tried to talk to her but uh, she reasoned out that she wanted to be called his child wife because she's really innocent and young at many to, dis to make decisions and actions take actions in her young age David has got his first book published but Dora started to become ill her um, his aunt constantly visit them and try to lend a helping hand and Daniel Peggotty came to see him to break the news that he found Emily, who was uh, who was uh, abandoned by James in Italy. James apparently has grown tired of her, and she just left her, and so Emily decided to go back to England. She was found by Daniel atop a bridge, and it's good he came just in time, and. They tried to seemingly um, talk, had to talk, and Daniel apparently 
made Emily based on how the story went uh, made Emily agree that they um, migrate to Australia and start life anew leaving behind Ham Ham who has become famous in Yarmouth and Peggotty who chose to look after David and Ham so that's how the uh, chapter 9 ended and now we are about to see um, actually there's one question in uh, chapter 8 that uh, activity that shouldn't be there it should be so I carried it here in uh, chapter 9 that last question in your te in storybook on page 95 is Daniel Pegotti finally managed to find Emily in Italy uh, Daniel Pegotti it's false Daniel Pegotti finally managed to find Emily in London okay I purposely did not add any question here any activity so as not to confuse you about the uh, activity page activity question on page 95 pertaining to chapter 9 but we're gonna have uh, this activity after reading David and we're, we'll be answering many questions questions pertaining to the entire storybook okay now I'm leaving you two questions to answer in your copy book we have here what happened to Dora and how did Daniel Pegatti find Emily and just like how you uh, tell me orally you may also write down your thoughts to this and to these questions okay so same thing send the screenshot of your copy book to me via discord direct message or whatsapp okay so this is the practice with fun vocabulary quiz again if the question is not related to the chapter yet because we have one chapter left leave it and we're gonna take it up in the last and final chapter of our story book okay you will see it says here chapter 24 25 26 in the novel actual novel we have uh, more chapters than our storybook our storybook was a uh, only has 10 chapters and everything is embedded in in the entire everything about David Copperfield what is embedded in our storybook okay uh, from bookworms Oxford bookworms let's see once again I would like to thank you for your time and be safe be healthy and happy virtual learning bye for now